I know George was talking about this bottom hand. Bottom hand is everything. And for me, on the forward stroke on the bottom hand, what I like to do is I hold it like I'm gonna fist a cuff you in your throat. So I hold it here in the palm of my hand this way. And I pull against that. So this is a fulcrum. Here, pull. So with that, um, as you can tell, this is the first time I've been speaking, so I'm kind of all over the place, so forgive me. But So that's, that's basically what I like to do on, um, as far as beginning and practicing. And then also when I practice, let's say if I'm practicing the double spray, I'll come around and I watch my speed. With a longer, compared to a, a Skagit and a Scandi, a Skagit is, is, a, is much shorter head so it's very, a lot slower. And the longer, the farther, or the longer the head, the more speed I need to generate. So I work on, on speed, and then a lot of times I will, I will bring some of the line in to, to, to mimic a Skagit, and just slowly, and I get a nice D loop, and go. So those are the things I like to practice, especially, especially the roll cast. <clears throat> and if there's anything you really kind of, for me, if there's anything you take away for the, for, from everybody, um, is that those two casts, the double spay and the circle C, which would be the circle C or whatever, the snap Z, if you could do both of those casts with a single-handed rod, there's not one place in the world you can't fish. I don't care how many trees are behind you. If you know those two casts, it'll improve your, your the double spade and the circle C will improve your, your single-handed casting by at least 75%. There will not be one place you can't fish. Because how many times do we go to a creek or the river and we're, we're wade fishing and we can do a full cast? almost impossible so um, after that I'd like to have some fun with like a competition rod and so Calvin where is that thing oh and another thing when I when you guys come to these these claves What I do, especially like George and Brian, I always bring a notepad with me and a pencil. And when they're, this is what I got out of both of them when they were talking. And I write all that down. And it, and it, really, it really, really helps me. I go back and go, you know what? I like that idea. Or he said this and you know what? That makes sense. And the other thing is, is when you're practicing, especially if you're going out and practicing with another a friend of yours or whatever, and you're both, videotape the cast. Videotape it, and if you're not sure, go to the North 40 Fly Shop and see Jordan or Tyler and say, hey, can you watch this video? What am I doing wrong here? And they'll be more than happy to help you. So, anyways. Oh. Can you hold that leader for me? Thank you. That's good. I'll try to get the rest of the Anyways, this is a, a, a 15 foot competition rod. Believe me, I don't fish these all the time, but you guys are lucky because this is what I learned on. I didn't use a 12 foot, I didn't, I did, nobody had one. So I was doing a lot shorter head, but I was doing a double spay and all the other stuff with this, with this rod. So anyways, in the tournament casting, like at Sparama, they have 
it's competition. There's four required casts. There's a snake roll. All right, a snake roll and a single spay. And those, a single spay is here and out. And those are all required casts on the right side. Now you gotta learn how to do it also on the left side. So now you gotta do it left-handed. So it's basically like you're a good batter right-handed, now it can be a good batter left-handed. So, and at Spayorama, they have, what they have is they have a buoy line that runs straight out from the pond. And they have two markers which are set out at 45 degree angle changes. So, and basically all you really try to do is they give you six minutes to complete, six minutes to complete 12 casts. So you get three right snake rolls. And one of them or two of them you're gonna mess up, but your best one they count it as a score. Then you get three right singles, which is single. So I set up the buoy line here and out. So anyways, this is a 15 foot rod. This head is 70 feet long, which probably most of yours are, I don't know, 35 maybe, the Scandies. And that line weighs 1,040 grains because it's got to bend a telephone pole. So it needs some weight. And I have 22, this is my shooting head, or shooting, shooting line, or shooting head, or shooting line. And it's a 24 pound uh, Verivas. And it's very smooth, it's really hard to tie onto. So the, the red here is, uh, the, the red mono is um, 30 pound uh, Verivas. And what I really hold on to is I, with my hand to hold on to it, I have a, a blood knot there that that's where I grip it. And there's the overhang. <clears throat> Come here, Calvin. We'll see if, it's just a lot of fun. Do I fish this rod? No, no, I don't fish it. But it's fun after casting small stuff to, to, to play around with the bigger rods. For me, if you, can, if you can control one of these, those are very, then it's just simple. It's just speed. We'll see how far I more I can go. And there's a bad one. <clears throat> That's line stick. That's what some of us do on the single hand or just your uh, your double-handed rods where there's too much line sitting on the water. And that was because the loop went too low. The loop needs to come back, the rod tip needs to go up. So that's the right single, and now I'm a fr so I'm gonna do a left single now, and I'm scared, so I'm gonna put the glasses on. <laughs> so now I gotta switch over, now I gotta be left-handed.
Not very good. Those are left handed it's hard to do when you're right handed. It's hard to learn. That's <laughs> what was that? Clearly you were struggling with that. Well, yeah, a little sticky, but <laughs> Uh, that's why you wear glasses. So, well, anyhow, you guys, I, I love spay casting, and the thing is, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta practice. Definitely, you have to practice. And just that little roll cast drill, you work on that. That all have take notes, listen to what listen to what everybody says. Videotape your cast. You're not sure, watch the line. Watch what the line's doing. Line, rod, body, and then body rod line. It's videotape that. If you're having problems. Go into the North 40, see those guys. I mean, they, they know what they're doing. So, anyways, thank you for my first speech in a long time. <laughs>